Hello everyone. In today's lesson, we'll be explaining the rules of logarithms. But before we learn these rules of logarithms, we'll start by mentioning the objectives of this lesson. The first objective of this lesson is that we'll define what logarithms are, we'll explain the rules of logarithms, and we'll answer some example questions on each of the rules that we'll discuss about. Starting with the definition of logarithms, so we can now ask the question, what is a logarithm? A logarithm is simply a mathematical operation that helps us to determine how many times a number should be multiplied by itself to get a certain result. For example, how many times the number 2 be multiplied by itself to get the number 8? What should be your answer? Well, your answer should be 4. Since this example is pretty easy, you might now answer my question directly by telling me that the number 2 should be multiplied by itself 3 times to obtain the number 8. Right? However, when the numbers get larger and complicated, the need of using the logarithmic function and rules arises immediately. Mathematically, the logarithmic statement is written as the log of the number b to the base of a. Now let's get straight into the first rule. The first rule of logarithms is known as the identity rule. And the first rule says that given a equals b, the log of b to the base of a equals 1 or the log of b to the base of b equals 1. Let's take a simple example to understand this rule. So, the log of 3 to the power of 3 equals 1. Likewise, the log of, um, let's say, 7 to the power of 7 equals 1. Now let me just write something to point out the default logarithmic function or the base, I mean, so the uh, default logarithmic base. The log of 10 equals 1 as well. Whenever you are given a log without a base, then you should assume automatically that that base is 10. So this is the de default condition. The second rule is known as the zero rule. And the reason why it's known as it's called the zero rule is because the answer that we get from the logarithmic function that has these, um, like, uh, looks like this with one is zero. So that's why it's known as the zero rule. So the logarithm of one to any base is zero. So as you can see, the log of a, I mean, log, log to the base of a of one equals zero. For example, the log of 10, log of one base 10, equals 0. Likewise, the log of 5, I mean log of 1 base 5 equals 0. So log of 1 base 5 equals 0. So whenever you have this number that's under the logarithmic function as 1, then the automatic answer will be 0. It's, it will always be 0. So this is known as the 0 rule. And just as we saw in the indices rules, logarithms can be applied in one single question i mean so, so different rules can be applied in one single question you might have to apply the zero rule and the identity rule for one single question so it all depends on how the question is formulated the third rule that we have is the product rule and the product rule is the product of two or more positive numbers so if you are given log to the base of a x multiplied by y equals log of x base a plus log of y base a. This is known as the product rule. Given that x and y are greater than zero. So that's why we said positive numbers. Let's take ex an example. Example, calculate log of 2 base 4 
plus log of 8 base 4. If you look at this rule, we can go from right to left and also from left to right. So whenever you, are, you have an equation in mathematics, it means that the right hand side of the equation would give you the left hand side of the equation and vice versa. So looking at this expression that we have, we can express this as log base 4 bracket 2 multiplied by 8. Yeah, to if you if you want to simplify this further, this is the same as log base four. Eight multiplied by two is sixteen. You can leave your answer as this, because the whole aim for us in this section is to understand how to apply these rules. The fourth rule is the quotient rule, and this is the twin of the product rule. The quotient rule is given by the log of x divided by y base a equals the log of x base a minus log of y base a. Example, calculate log 5 divided by 3 base 2. If you apply this rule, you'll get log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2. The next rule is given as the log of x to the power of m base a equals m multiplied by log of x to the base of a so in this rule what you do is you take the exponent and you multiply it to this logarithmic function so it's as if you are taking this m to the front and you are multiplying it to the logarithm that's what you have here and as an example if you are given log of 5 to the power of 1.6 base 2. If you take this to the front side, it will be 1.6 multiplied by log of 5 base 2.